Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will guide you through the process of resolving issues with the Toyota app not working. Without further delay, uh, let's dive into the solutions. First solution to fix this problem is update Toyota app to the latest version. To do this, head to the Play Store and uh, search for uh, Toyota app. After that, uh, select the app. And uh, then if an update is available, you will see an update button next to the app. Tap on it to update the app to the latest version. Once updated, launch the app again. Second solution to fix this problem is uh, disable and enable your internet connection. To resolve this problem, uh, try to link your internet connection. For that time, uh, you head to the control panel of your mobile phone. And, uh, and then uh, turn off your mobile data if you are using it 4 or 5 to 10 seconds. Then uh, switch it back on. For Wi Fi users, now uh, turn off Wi Fi for the same duration and then uh, turn it back on. Alternatively, activate aeroplane mode for 4 to 5 seconds, then uh, turn it off. After that, uh, check uh, if the issue resolved. Third solution to fix this problem is uh, force close and restart to a to app. So for that, uh, just simply open your mobile setting and uh, head to the app manager. After that, uh, select the uh, Toyota app from the app list. And, uh, and then uh, uh, click on force stop from the bottom right corner. Confirm by clicking OK and then reopen the app. Fourth solution to fix this problem is clear Toyota app catches. Clearing the app catches can often resolve performance issues. To clear your Toyota app catches, go to your phone setting and come on the same place. Then click on storage and catches. After that, click on clear catches to clear the Toyota app catches. Fifth solution to fix this problem is uninstall and reinstall the Toyota app. If the problem persists, uninstall the Toyota app by going to Play Store, searching for the app and selecting Uninstall. Once uninstalled, reinstall the app by clicking on the Install button. If none of the above methods work, the issue may be a Toyota app server is down. In such cases, you may need to wait for some time and try again later. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope these solutions help resolve the to have issue for you.